Hey there folks, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com and I just want to give you guys a quick tour of Microsoft SNP. Now Microsoft SNP was just released by Microsoft today in beta form. Essentially what it is is it's a screenshot uh, creator and editor. It's a pretty light photo editor, but it's nice for if you want to share something on your screen and make some quick annotations to it um, so that you can maybe teach somebody, maybe one of your friends about one of the features in your operating system or, or something like that. Now, Microsoft Snip is open right now, and it's showing up in the taskbar right here. That's actually the one thing that I don't like about it. I would like this to be hidden over here in this notifications center so that I don't have to constantly have that in my taskbar. The other thing is that if you go to a new desktop, you won't have Microsoft Snip on that desktop, so it only lives on the active desktop. So the way you go ahead and take a screenshot once this is running is you just scroll up to the top of the screen here and you've got this little bar right at the top there. When you hover over that, it's just gonna slide open. And then you have three different options here. You have capture, whiteboard, and camera. So capture is just going to capture the portion of the screen that you designate. Whiteboard will enable you to annotate that, such as maybe with a Surface Pen, and then Camera, so that's just for sharing a quick snapshot, maybe something very quick and easy that you wanna share with somebody. You take a quick picture, and then you can annotate that picture and add voiceover as well. And that's really what's special about Microsoft Snip. Of course, you can easily take screenshots in Windows 10, but then editing them requires you to go into another application. So let me just show you really quick what this looks like. So if I go ahead and capture this, so you can designate the portion of the screen that you want to capture. So I can say I just wanna capture this right here. And now it's captured and copied to the clipboard. So what's really special about this is that you can now use voice and ink to go ahead and teach somebody something about this screenshot. So perhaps you're using an application and one of your friends has a question about how to do something and you want to make a quick explainer for them, you can capture a screenshot and then we'll go ahead and do this. So you would be able to hit record. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm already recording, but you can see the microphone is active down here. And then you can use a pen and change the different colors of the ink. So then you have the easy option of sharing it right after you're finished annotating. So I'll go ahead and take blue here and I can make an arrow or draw a frowny face on Master Chief there for some reason. Uh, so that's what that looks like. And of course you do have your eraser and this erases the entire stroke. And then you have this erase all button which would just go ahead and erase any of the annotations that you've made and then you can go ahead and share it or save it. By default, once you make a capture, it'll stay in your capture library. So there's one of me using the camera earlier, and then there's this uh, second snip that I made just now. Once you install Microsoft Snip, it does automatically launch every time you boot up your system. So if you don't want that to happen, you'll wanna go into your task manager and go ahead and manage that. It's not a very resource intensive piece of software, but that could slow down your boot times. That's it for Microsoft Snip. Thanks for watching.